Next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time now for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing 6 foot 9 inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler himself, one of the greatest... The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. And now for the official... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. He parries away that left hook. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? The crowd has settled into their seats. They are ready to see something special at this amazing venue. Todd, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Exchange here from both men. He takes that jab. Neither man really defending themselves. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. you got to swarm on your case. You know you got to fight. you got to hold him. you got to tie him up. you got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching until that referee said stop. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Cards you see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm a being unfair since it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. This 
counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. He just missed. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. I like that round. Good round. Feel good? Good man. Great one. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear and we'll start powering out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breath. There's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Got him with a clean right uppercut. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. fighter doing there's nothing behind these punches can they figure out the combination to this safe they're so close so close how can you separate them it's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges we're at the halfway point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way Offensive display landing that left counter. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He threw the hook, didn't land. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down, you can't miss him. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let him back into Time winding down as we get set for another round. Here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Well, he 
Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry, get him frustrated, make him deviate away from the plan. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. He blocks the hook. All right. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. You've got a couple of big units there, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drums because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Miss with that jab. This, is, this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. There's a counter shot. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. Fine. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. Then there's the bell for round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. out of the way of that left hand. <laughs> Trying to answer back. Good counter left hand there. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Great counter... You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow, it's like two different leagues. 
set him up. I think they'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely... Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Smart. Otherwise, he'll see it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. Keep smart. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Let's start the six. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. When you've got someone with that hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. He just misses with that jab. Punch, counter punch. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than after. He blocks the jab. Through the left, but it was blocked. And he just missed with that left jab. Good counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Perfect counter lands. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump all behind the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Body and head, be smart, change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Here comes round seven. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Neither man really defending themselves. Exchange here from both men. And he fails to score with that left hook. 
Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. They're both trying for a knockout. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. He's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. See it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish him. Look at fight. Don't let him get that confidence. This is him stressing about his gas tank now. Keep whacking. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell for round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punching. They both want the knockout. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? A perfect counter shot. Nice counter punch. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fig in a pickpocket. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with that power punch. And he misses with the left uppercut. Neither man really defending himself. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Big hook doesn't land. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Don't get the jab and don't get carried away. Don't fight the tension and what you do.
the referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. And there's the bell to start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice counter shot. <laughs> Catch and shoot. And a counter left. And he misses with that jab. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single Very close round with 10 seconds to go. got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. I love that. I love that. That chat's great. And beautiful. That's it. Start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just... The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. And there's the bell for round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Got out of the way of that right hook. Good left counter that lands. He misses with that jab. That counter shot lands. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain it all the way through a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. No rest for the weary. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the... Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. And 
and he blocked. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump over, and every time you see him, take a big, deep breath. Bang him down. Body and head. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Then it's start 11. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Misses with that jab. Right punch. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want to... Tyson Fury! It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off. Get on with the job. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. See it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish it. to the 12th. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got to he's bluff them. Nothing but air with that jab. Nice job blocking the left hook. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with some hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. The 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Can't find a home with that jab. Beautiful counter shot. They exchange punches. Both men step back for just a moment. That jab misses. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Perhaps the greatest heavyweight of all time, the Brown Bomber Joe Lewis. He's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. And he'll be taking on Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. The Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis, one of the most historically important fighters of all. He is the greatest of all time. Muhammad Ali, fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. Float like. 
So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. They say... All right. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. This is a high-octane battle. And he misses with that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Beautiful counter shot. You can't connect with that right hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. Skill for skill, time for time. Just like a match made in heaven. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Both men step back for just a moment. Great counter right hand there. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. to the second round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fists. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Defense is not an option for these two. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they... The Brown Bomber in some trouble. This one, Joe Lewis in trouble. I don't believe what we're seeing here. You can tell. That bell was sweet music to his ears. Oh, you know, what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Here we 
we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. He just misses with that big right hand. He can't score with that uppercut. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons. And that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen. So if you rush your work, you think, I've got to get him inside close round. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. And he misses with the left uppercut. He just misses with that jab. Good left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter lands. That left counter was perfect. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter. Nice exchange here from both men. Beautiful counter punch. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. He misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. Punching for both these athletes. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Good defense on that right hand. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Time for the fifth round. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. This 
fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring, you fight like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Just prevents that left uppercut from scoring. the combination to this safe. He blocks the hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Big left there, but misses. and bunches, that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get confused. Here we go in the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And he just missed with that left jab. One of the best rounds I've seen this year. Both men step back for just a moment. Good counter right hand again. You've heard the phrase finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So far, the offense has been better than the defense. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. <laughs> defense is not an option for these two. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. <laughs> Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Joe Lewis in trouble. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. There's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them. they set their shots, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Miss with that jab. He misses with that jab. Counter punching. No rest for the weary. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you. Here's the bell to start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. And he fails to score with that left hook. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, I'm thinking, you've just got to be smart than him. You've got to be like a... Oh, and Joe Lewis is hurt. He is hurt. Somehow weathered the storm. Boys to the left. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. Big heavy shots and Lewis is down. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You're being put down. You've got to think well. And there's the bell for round nine. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff. <laughs> He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Catch and shoot. Nice counter shot. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fight. A fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dared do anything out of turns. the jab but does not score is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali I thought we were going to see the finish there they exchange punches 
Missing with that jab. Lands with the right counter. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these fighters. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges... We've made it to round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That left counter punch will score. Good counter left hand there. But this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come... Good job trying to back out of trouble. The Brown Bomber in some... So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to gear you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Joe Lewis in trouble. Well, there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.
I went over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck.
don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pals just told them, but the squad gets scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not a omen, still might have to grill a brother like Foreman. <laughs> when my dogs start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you'd think that it's autumn. Yo, I can't stand these rap boys, feel to eliminate all. That's right. I'm trying to raise this stat boy, so tall that it might fall. That's Top strike arm and I lick off the goal, so anything I set I achieve and more. Blah. Soon bring the man them on some kind of tour. Yeah. No flicker bottles in my rider report. Right. I don't know why they would step to the team and I'll send man airborne like fly beat. God. Come like this is some sci-fi scene when I lace this magic on these type of beats. Woo. I don't want to hear no thought from a dweeb, you don't respect me if you don't pay my fees. True. If you don't respect me, then please better back out the way of this heat. I don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pals just told them, but the squad gets scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not a omen, still might have to grill a brother like Foreman. <laughs> when my dogs start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you'd think that it's autumn. Blah. I don't know what they thought this was, huh? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pals just told them, but the squad gets scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not a omen, still might have to grill a brother like Foreman. <laughs> when my dogs start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you'd think that it's autumn. Yo. Step to the place on my jails with all nine and I'm on a mad one. Maddish. I don't want no attention from that gyal if she ain't a bad one. Maddish. Man try tell me the free five come too stinky as Cali that packs from. Cali. And if I go broke, N95's a nightclub slapped on. Valid. Soon put chef on the map, son. Don't pop with too many brothers, they cap enough. Yeah. Dog, I don't. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. And now it's time for our tape. Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the... The Dark Destroyer. Nigel Benn, one of the greatest English champions of all time. This legendary middleweight fights. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing in the... So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Our wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. What I say you must obey. Good luck. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. And he just misses with that jab. And he just missed with that left jab. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. I have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And looking at corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Get him with the left jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both men step back for just a moment. He threw the hook, didn't land. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And a court. And there's the bell for round two. Now, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good 
Counter left hand there. Back and forth they go. Both men step back for just a moment. These two were made for each other. Both men step back for just a moment. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers will hit anything and everything, your head, your ear, your elbow, your rib, your belly button. They are an absolute terror. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for a head shot. Nice job by him to block that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. A perfect counter shot. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, made look so simple. Bell rings and we start the third. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the climber weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you let the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights at middleweight are oh, ridiculous? That is what writes our history books. He just misses with that big right hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that's just the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Beautiful counter shot. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this thing... Here's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Good left counter that lands. And he fails to score with that left hook. That counter shot lands. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. 
how do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you stay calm. Her green. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jam. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than I He missed with that jab. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Swing and a miss with that hook. He misses with that jab. Oh, Litter just got rocked. This round could go. He's going to take a knee here and try and regroup. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Don't let him get back into this fight. That was beautiful. That's it. There's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be afraid. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Both men step back for just a moment. Nope, that jab not going to score. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait Here's the bell to start round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you're such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. No rest for the weary. Good 
counter punching for both these athletes. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Can't land the jab there. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He blocks that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Here we go, it's round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. That left counter punch will score. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. Punching for both these fighters. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Okay, I'm happy. Like that round. Good work, you thinking. Don't get the jab and don't get carried away. Think about the tense and remember what you do. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Blocks that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional tens, by the way. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. That jab doesn't find a home. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. 
Can't find a home for that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play cards play cool. The jab doesn't quite connect. Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard, can you believe it? Just got knocked down. One, two, three, four. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. And there's the bell for round nine. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know the one shake your leg. And that's here away from getting stopped. Catch and shoot. Quick punch scores. There's a counter shot. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. They figure out the combination to this safe. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Good defense here. It's a defense first game plan so far. Nice counter shot. So much firepower here. Nice counter shot with the right hand. And he misses with the left uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. This is the 10th. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Jab just got blocked. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Beautiful counter punch. That left hook misses. He 
parries the right jab away. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. To make or break a fight. There we go in the championship rounds, round 11. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. Nice counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Both men step back for just a moment. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood talk. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. On her right. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that? And there's the bell to start round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Neither man really defending themselves. Exchange here from both men. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Left-handed jab doesn't quite score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks the jab. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What can you do? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. That big hook doesn't... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Counterpunch. No surprise as we get a unanimous decision there. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. Add every round in the bag. There was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.
don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Two criminal like pals just told them, with a the squad get scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not at home, and still might have to grill a brother like foreman. <laughs> when my dogs start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you think that it's autumn. Yo, I can't stand these rap boys, feel to eliminate all. That's right. I'm trying to raise this stack boy so tall that it might fall. That's Top strike arm and I lick off the goal, so anything I set I achieve and more. Blah. Soon bring the man them on some kind of tour. Yeah. Enough liquor bottles in my rider report. Right. I don't know why they would step to the team and I'll send man airborne like fly beat. Come. Come like this is some sci-fi scene when I lace this magic on these type of beats. Woo. I don't want to hear no talk from a dweeb. You don't
All right, I went over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Ready to go, he's absolutely shattered. Mate, he's shattered. Come on. 